Hello and welcome everyone out there to this episode of Enforce Tech TV. Together with me, I have Jonas here from Swiss Aerobotics. Jonas, thank you for your time. Thanks for having me. It's great being here. And we are going to talk about drone counter measurements, counter drone technologies. Your, for, your company is majoring in this particular field, but please, before we get into the product, tell us something about your company and how you actually get to develop what we see right now on the table. Well, thanks. Um, Swiss Robotics is the company that was founded about seven, eight years ago. All right. And the great vision was having drones that deliver packages. Oh, okay. So it was about, so we're experts in drone, and from there, gradually moved into countering drones, and after some twists of fate, if you want to say so, All right. we ended up developing counter UAV technologies, as you see it right here. You, ended, you actually ended up on the opposite part of the spectrum where you started to. Actually, we like to see it in the same way. It's we facilitate commercial drone businesses by providing the police and, and the forces and All so right. we did like the, the authorities, the tools to enforce the laws, which makes drone technology more acceptable to the public. So we actually facilitate normal drone business by making sure that it doesn't off board. All right, so I understand that since drones has become or has moved from, well, this huge experimental technology to now in 2022 where drones are hugely available not only to military and law enforcement but also throughout all of the all of the people, throughout the public. So of course now there's the demand for counter drone management just to get the system of commercial drones in line. But Jonas now that we have all your stuff here, please tell me, how do you achieve this? The principle is simple. The technology is simple, the devil is in the details. As, as usual. Al as I always. Mean, as always, right. So, we started looking for net throwers for our drones, mm -hmm. and at that point realized something which is light, compact, aerodynamic, and really reliable, we just couldn't find it. So we started looking, how can we build it ourselves? You had to make it yourself. Exactly. All well, right. Too bad. Well, at some point, this is how we started. So we figured, okay, the original principle is like a few barrels, some weights that they're going to be shot out and they extend the net out of a canister. Exactly. That's, that's, that was the existing technologies to catch like wild animals, to catch other drones. But that's bulky, not so nice. So we All said, right. okay, can we achieve the same thing, like nets flying away from the center and expand the net by using another technology? And there comes in the centrifugal force. So if we twist something and we have the weights, then things start to expand. How can we achieve that? We shoot out a net with the weights from a twisted barrel, as you can see here, one of the very first prototypes. Right. And it worked. It worked. Sometimes a little better, a little less. And from these very small diameters, we went to very big diameters and ended up at some point uh, with this, what currently is our product. All right, so this is the twisted barrel? It's a twisted barrel, exactly. What's in it is a net which is specifically kind of put within the weights. We're using six weights and part of the net is wound about these weights. Okay. So when they are being shot out, they gradually start to expand and open up the net, and that allows us to achieve a range of about up to 30 meters. Up to 30 meters. But first of all, you told me right before we started this, what's it called? Because there is a, there's a twist, because you named your product after something that you've encountered in nature. Yeah, we were looking for, I was always big into names, like Swiss Robotics, the names, it took me a long time to get that, and then I was looking for a product name for that thing, and at some point came over the Dyna, oh, I'm, I'm really hard, having a hard time spelling it, Dynapedia, it's All kind right. of a spider, which casts the net to the prey. It doesn't just web it around and the name hangs, it casts but the web, so it. we have a net throwing spider, so, and if you look at a, like a hexacopter, it exactly. looks all, or an octocopter, it looks like a spider and it throws the net. So that is the way how we got to Dynopsis as a product name for it. So first for of all, congratulations. I believe that you found the perfect name for the product. Thank but you. speaking of, now this is a handheld product and I can't wait to take it in my hand, but 
you told me earlier because you gave me this and I was like, all right, this is really light because it was developed to be really extremely light in mind because it was initially not supposed to be handheld, but you managed to put it on a drone to shoot down another drone, exactly? Exactly, yeah. The story about that, it is fully designed and developed for aerial use. It is electrically ignited because you don't want to have like a firing pin on a, on a drone because the mechanisms are too heavy. Okay. Uh, everything is meant to be light and efficient for drone carrying. But at some point we realized it's not about just shooting the net. You also have to hit the target. And it's about aiming. And that's a tough part from a drone if you want to do that autonomously. I can imagine. So since we're a very small company, we said, Maybe we start with something simpler and delegate the aiming to someone who's actually really good at it, like special forces, police guys, security. That's when we built the Mark I, our triple net thrower, where we just fundamentally take exactly the same net cartridges, we put it in, and there is a small computer in it that takes care of the uh, entire shuffling. And whenever you just switch the firing switch, it's very similar to a gun, you arm it, you can shoot one net after the other. Jonas, while you're at it, please, would you mind giving us a rundown on the handheld version of these features? Sure. So what we see here is a net gun. It's a pistol. It really was meant for a pistol. There is like a, a pistol grip. Mm -hmm. If you look on the other side, you can see there's this foldable stock. So it's very easily, it's as ergonomic as you can do it for the constraints that we have on that weapon. There is an electrical switch, typically positioned like on a, any other firearm. Okay. You switch it on, and then you get like a visor, you get the LEDs turning on and giving you kind of a, first of all, you see which barrel is on, and you can just aim, like with a pistol. Then you have, unlike with a normal gun, you don't have a mechanical trigger, but you have like an electrical trigger, so you just push the button, and the net goes off. Would you mind me holding it? Because it looks so futuristic, and that's... No problem. <laughs> it will be my pleasure. So the first thing I noticed is it's really light, right? It is very light. So And you guys put the three barrels with in mind that maybe the first shot might not be the shot that takes down the drone, right? Exactly, yeah. So I can just, because foldable stock, the grip, a trigger, although it's an electrical trigger, these are all known concept to man. Yes. People who know how to handle firearms will know how to handle your product instantly, right? Absolutely. So hold on, let me, I don't want to muzzle anyone. As serious as the topic is, I kind of feel like a space marine holding it, but it's just because of the futuristic design. So I can see there's the switch where I can... Turn it off. Just turn it off and turn it on. And otherwise, this is a really simple but genuine concept. So how is the future development process, or at what stage of the process are you at the moment with your company? Uh, this is one of the last prototypes that we have. Um, we have everything ready for serial production, so we have a few things that we still need to adjust. And we're currently in the certification process of the, of the drive charge, All right. since this is like an explosive charge, and we exactly. needed we need to repackage it to fit our purpose. Uh, if you want to sell it like to a larger public, we have to certify it, and that's got to be at the C market, and that's what's currently happening. So guys, there you have it, counter drone measurements, whether it's handheld or on the aerial platforms themselves. Jonas from Swiss Aerobotics has got you covered. For all those people and our viewers who are interested now in your product, where can they find you? Well, they can find us here at Enforce Tech at the booth 12498 or just at SwissAerobotics.com. SwissAerobotics.com. Jonas, thank you very much for your time. I hope you have a great fair for the rest of the day. Thank you so much for having me here. All right, no problem. Great. And thanks to you. And please, if you like this video, do not hesitate to give this video a like, write a comment, or even leave a subscription.